hello, my name is Pasha. I'm from Latvia and I do parkour, free running, movement and trying to be funny. <laughs> to be honest, I don't have any name for what I'm doing. Lately, I've been calling this Pashkor just for fun, just mixing parkour and Pasha together. It's a language. It is like, a, it's a way to speak and everyone understands it. Like globally, people speak a lot of languages but when they see the body movement, they all feel related to it. So for me, it's a way to express myself through the body language. I've been thinking about this a lot, like why I'm doing this. Does it make any sense or like why I see the wall or why I see the fence and I want to create something? But it just makes me happy, I don't know why. I'm not only doing parkour, I also bring something like, like a comedy into it, like a perspective, illusion. I'm from Latvia, so there is no much stuff for parkour there. That's why I got to be creative because I don't have the tools. I have to use what I have. Most of the time, if you don't have much, it's easier to be creative. The less you have, the more you can get out of it. I was always active kid. I never really had like a computer. I never sit home. I always go outside with my friends, climb the trees. Now they don't do this anymore. Kids just phones, phone, like we didn't have this. So I feel lucky about that too, because when I started for me, it was all about, I want to get better. I want to do like side flip, front flip, back flip. Like I was counting how many tricks I can do. But now a lot of people start like, oh, for social media. For me, it was never a thing. And now of course, like having a social media is a great tool. It's for free. You register and you show the world what you can do. You can have it. If you don't need it, it's also good. But just in case there is a guy who's doing some crazy stuff, I'm right here, Pasha the boss. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of like Boston Kid and Charlie Chaplin stuff, silent movies, stunts, and they did some good stuff. I get a lot of inspiration from there, from like back in the days. A lot of people message me, hey, I just want to be like you, what should I do? But most of the time they see the final result. They don't know how much work is behind all that. To make it look easy, you got to work hard. And this work people don't see. If it's like a little bit more complicated tricks, you should measure the distance. Webster. Since the sport I'm doing, it's all about founding stuff. Most of the time it's a lot of like stuff on your way, so you have to get, get rid of it. Except this guy with the camera. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I like to find something weird. You get the tricks, like it's, it just excites me how like people just see it as like, oh, this is stairs right here. But there is way more than the stairs. It's like, you can go boom, here, going down. Roll down. Feels amazing. A lot of people telling me like, oh, you don't have any fear or something. I do have fear, but most of the time I'm afraid not to try stuff. Because if I never tried, I never found out. If you fell down the stairs and you're gonna break your arm, you're never gonna take stairs again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> they gotta be smart. You gotta, you gotta understand your fears. And fear's there to protect you. And you gotta respect everything you do. If you feel good, you can do it. If you feel bad, don't even try. <laughs> oh, it just spin. It was so scary. Yeah, you always gotta check like a million times. See how it's spinning. So what happened in the first attempt? I went, it went with me. <laughs> like those moments, you start appreciating like, whoa. One trick can take it all. If you're not ready, take your time. If you feel you wanna do it, you do it. If you don't feel you want to do it, you don't do it. Because your thoughts and energy that you have, it's very important. Sometimes it's more important than your physical abilities. If you like have a good energy and you believe in yourself, you can do a lot more than you expect it. We can do more with our bodies than just eat, sleep and walk. Just stretch in the morning, just respect your body. This is the only thing you have and this is the only thing you control. Be your own boss, have discipline to do stuff. Yeah, Pasha is the boss probably, he thinks he's the boss. Yeah, I am the boss to myself, not, not to you, to myself, I'm the boss. I'm a champion of my own world. I just keep doing what I love and I feel like it will bring me to good places. It, it's already happening. I feel like the best thing I can put in my bag is free space. Because we all want to put so much there, but we never think about leaving free space for something new, for something new we might find later. My name is Pasha the boss. Just do what you love, leave your goal.